Mm. That's good. Here I am in Anguilla. First time here, what I'll tell you is this country is absolutely beautiful, right? Probably one of my favorite places I've been to so far. We're at an amazing property. Um, this resort is called the Zemi. Yeah, the Zemi Hotel, it's a Hilton Hotel. Fuego, absolutely fuego. But um, I want to share a gem with you guys, right? Um, oftentimes people ask me, hey Kamoy, you know, what do I do if I'm in a city that doesn't allow Airbnb? There's like some really strict regulations and things of that nature. You know, what do I do? Right, and what I'll tell you, well, don't let that be something that stops you, right? Don't let that be something that just kind of like prevents you from getting into this business, right? Because I see so many people, you know, maybe they're in a particular city and because there's there's certain restrictions or regulations that prevent them from doing it in that city. And there's not many cities like that, but there are cities that have tight regulations. Don't let that stop you, right? So here's one thing that you can do, right? And I have a bunch of students that do this. If you're in a city where there's tight regulations, you're not subjected to only do business in that particular city, right? Like you can literally launch short-term rentals in other cities, other states, and even other countries, right? You can literally run your business remotely. Because again, when you build your build a team and you automate things, you don't have to physically be by the property, right? So that's one thing that you can do. And also, this is a really big thing that I feel like a lot of people overlook. There's something called peer space. Okay, peer space. Now, if you don't know what peer space is, peer space is almost like the Airbnb of event spaces, right? But the cool thing is about peer space, let's just say you have an apartment or a house or a condo, you can actually utilize like a really like, like unique decor design, right? So much to the point where, because people won't only just book, you know, properties on peer space for like business meeting conferences, but people also book um, places for photo shoots right um small really small meetings right it could be something for maybe someone's filming a short film right it could be so many different things it could be a lot of different creative things where it doesn't necessarily have to be you know a big conference or anything like that and people will book apartments that's well decorated that looks unique that has a theme for their photo shoot and different things of that nature so if you're in a city where there's tight regulations when it comes to airbnb well guess what you can do a really creative design right that will attract people that would want to have a photo shoot in your property and the cool thing is this with these people on peer space they're not spending the night at your property they're literally booking your place for like a couple hours right it could be you could set your minimum but they could literally be booking your place for like two hours three hours five hours six hours you can really set it right but the cool thing is um there's actually some things that you can avoid when it comes to you know headaches that may come when you have a, an airbnb short-term rental right like where people may have a party right now granted there's ways to prevent parties in airbnbs but you won't really have things like that when it comes to a peer space because people typically book those places for you know like i said shoots short films small means things of that nature right so this is literally one way that you can avoid regulations and then here's another thing too right let's just say you're not in a place that um doesn't have a lot of regulations i would still encourage you to utilize peer space because here's what you can do let's just say you have someone booking your place on airbnb and checking is at three o'clock well if your place is also on peer space let's just say someone wants to book a photo shoot at your place for 9 a.m 10 a.m well guess what you can have someone that's booking your place for a photo shoot from say 10 a.m to one o'clock you you're making money that way have your cleaner come and clean the property and then boom your property is ready for the guest checking at three o'clock so literally you got two different bookings on the same day think about what that could do for your revenue so needless to say guys here's what i want you to think about an entrepreneur is a problem solver that's all an entrepreneur is a person that solves problems so if you want to be a highly successful entrepreneur when you see some type of challenge roadblock maybe some type of thing that you may not understand don't go into retreat mode first thing hey what what can I do to solve this? What can I, what can I do to think creative creatively so that way this doesn't have to prevent me from creating success or starting, right? Here's what you have to understand. This is something that a mentor told me many years ago. It doesn't matter what's happening in your life. There's always a way. Life is happening for you, not to you. 
So always, always guys, be in solution mode. So I hope that was helpful. I'm gonna enjoy eating my breakfast out here in sunny Anguilla. I wish you guys nothing but success, joy, and health. Let's get it. Mm.